Fittis. I am the co-founder, partner, and director of sales for Agility Technologies Corporation. Uh, this is going to be a four-part video series on our product, First Look 360. We're going to talk about the camera and its design. Uh, another video will talk about the USR Kit 1, uh, the USR 1 that we have in front of me here. Um, we're also going to talk about the First Look 360 application on Android, um, talk about all the detail within the application, um, and ending off with the actual operation of the camera, how you use the camera in the field. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Matt here again. We're going to go over the First Look 360 camera on its own and its design. As you can see, um, this is kind of a unibody design. We built this for the purpose of not using articulation, which most cameras in the field have, where you have to move a camera head left or right, turn the pole, move it up and down. This camera does not have that. There are no moving parts in this camera, which make it really significant when you're using it in the field. Because of that, we use spherical uh, imaging. Uh, we take two wide field of views from each lens that you see here and here and we stitch them together using software in our application. We'll get to that later. Um, this camera is IP68 when using the environmental lid. Uh, there are two battery lids, uh, battery enclosure lids, sorry, that we offer with this camera. We use an audio mic lid as well as an environmental lid. When using the environmental lid, you have the ability to have this go underwater up to three meters for 30 minutes. I will preface that this is not an underwater camera. It was never made to be an underwater camera. However, you have that ability if needed, and you can use this in very wet conditions. The camera is a little over a foot long in length. It's less than two inches in diameter. Um, like I said, we have two lenses either on each side of the camera head here with protection ribs around the lenses to protect them from scratching when they go into the space. We have a rubber stop on the head that you can take off if you wish. This protects um, the camera head as well. Around those lenses, we have six LED lights um, that uh, you can certainly brighten to full brightness or dim them down through the application, uh, the FL360 application. Um, in front here, we have a heat sink uh, that includes an LED. The heat sink is, does get warm and in some cases gets hot. There's a reason for that. Uh, it vents the heat within the actual uh, processor inside the camera. And much like your phone, when you're streaming on your phone, you'll notice that the camera gets, or your phone gets hot on the rear. Um, basically, this vents the heat within the camera. There's a serial number on each camera. Um, this is the cam, when you're pairing your camera to the actual application, the serial number is important. It's there to make sure that you're pairing to the right camera if there are multiple cameras in the field. And then there's an LED light here that when you power up the camera, you'll see lights, they all have a, a specific purpose. Um, the blue light will come on when you power the camera on for the first time by holding the power button here for four seconds. That blue light will last for about 37 seconds before it shows one of three lights, a green, a yellow, or a red. The green, yellow, or red are showing are indicating the battery power uh, in, the in the camera itself. And then it will go into pairing mode, which will flash red and blue, red and blue. And that, at that point, you can pair the camera to the actual application. Like I said, there's a power button here, holding it on for four seconds to turn on the camera, hold it uh, for four seconds down uh, for it to turn off. The rear, we have a mount here for a pole that we provide in the, in the kit. And then of course, we also have wired capability for the camera. The camera operates in two different modes, a wireless mode and a wired mode. On the rear of the camera, you can see that there's a wired connection here, okay? Um, the system uh, in the user one kit has a wired configuration up to 10 feet uh, to the length of the actual extension pole that you have in the kit, okay? In wireless mode, you can actually get a distance up to 100 feet. Um, of course, that's an open air environment, line of sight. Most cases you're going to get between uh, 10 and 80 feet, depending on the environment that you're working in, in the rubble pile and materials and so forth. Uh, I will make a prediction that you're going to use this camera in wireless mode probably 95% or more uh, when you're using this system. It's also important to know in the camera that we have two different um, battery enclosure lids. Um, mainly the one that you're going to use is the speaker and mic lid. Um, obviously this allows you to do two-way audio with the victim within the actual void space. Uh, the microphone will also be used for some other features in the future. Um, but we also have an environmental lid 
that does not have a speaker and a microphone built into it. And when applied to the camera, this will make the camera IP68, which allows us to go up to three meters for 30 minutes uh, if needed to go underwater. Now, we never built this camera as an underwater camera. I wanna, I wanna preface that right away. Um, however, we know that you're gonna be using this camera in wet conditions, and there is going to be a time where you might not know that the camera is gonna go into a void space and then eventually go underwater. So in wet conditions, very, very wet conditions, you certainly using the environmental lid will be a protect uh, a way to protect the camera. Uh, you can use the audio and mic lid in wet conditions, but if there's a feeling that this might go underwater, use the environmental lid. Two batteries go into the enclosure. I'll talk about these batteries later, but uh, simply just put your batteries in and you're ready to go. The unique thing about these batteries is that when the camera's operating, you can hot swap. So if one is actually uh, fading, you can take one out, put a fresh one in while the camera's still operating and do the same with the other. That's the battery.